Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCrory and this is Would You Make It? I was at a party last night and a friend showed me a set of coasters that the host had and he really liked this set of coasters and he asked me if I'd be able to make him a set that was similar but a little bit larger. It was a square set of coasters. So I've got these strips of wood that I have left over from another project and I'm going to use those to make almost a, a replica of what he saw but then I'm going to surprise him and make another set that is round. So let's get started. I was fortunate to have these strips of wood already cut, so now I'm just ripping them to a width of 5 eighths of an inch. And now I'm setting up the table saw fence with a stop block to be set at the width of one of the strips. And now I can cut the strips into individual squares, and these will be used as spacers in the middle of the coaster. Now I've laid everything out so that I can measure the width of the coaster, and that's so that I can determine the length to result in a square. And now I'm cutting the length of the strips. And now a final layout just to see how it's going to look in the end, but I'm going to set the glue up aside for a later time. Now it's time to make the second version of coasters. These will be round and I think they're going to be easier to make because there's no assembly required. There's no glue up. It's just a round piece of wood with some holes cut into it. Um, I've got a leftover piece of walnut that's um, four quarter inch thick and some sherry. Um, I, I think I would have preferred to use maple because it would give a higher contrast, but I don't have any leftover pieces that I, I don't want to cut into a, a new piece. Um, this is five quarter, so I'll get a, a good use out of that. I'm jointing the wood now to get a straight edge. And I'm also jointing one of the faces to get a flat face. Now I'll rip the wood into four inch strips. Ultimately, these are going to be round coasters that are four inches in diameter. And I'm cross-cutting them in the other direction to be four inches. So I've got four inch squares now. I'm gonna drill eight holes into each coaster. So I'm drawing a line from corner to corner, and then I will use a square to mark the other angles. Now I'm using a compass to mark an interior circle. This will mark the center points of each of the holes that I'm going to drill. And then because it's walnut, I used a white pencil to hand mark the intersection points. And now I'm just drilling each of the holes. And now over on the bandsaw, I'm resawing each of the squares into three slices. Each one is about a quarter of an inch thick. Now I'm running each of the pieces through the drum sander 
to remove the sawtooth marks and to make sure that each of the coasters is the same thickness. Now I'm setting up my circle cutting jig on the bandsaw. I'm measuring a two inch radius so that I end up with a four inch circle. Now I'm inserting a quarter inch bolt up through the center and mounting each of the coasters onto that and then securing them with a knob. Now I'm running the jig through the bandsaw blade until the blade is next to the bolt. Then I'll clamp the jig to the table of the bandsaw and then I can rotate the pieces to cut out perfect circles. And then I'll just clean up the edges on the belt sander. I've inserted a dowel through the center of the coasters just to keep them all aligned. And now I'm drilling a one inch hole through the center of each of the coasters. So this would normally be just a one day project, but I had to take a break for the holidays and I've been away for a week, but now I'm back. So I'm gonna spend this afternoon doing the glue up and assembly. I've got all the pieces cut for the square coasters and I've created some 5x5 pieces of MDF that will help me to keep the glue up flat. I've also drawn an outline on a piece of paper just to help me line things up. This first piece that I'm gluing up is going to be part of the base. So it's a little bit different than all the other coasters. And this is a pretty tedious process. In fact, I couldn't do it myself because I needed a helper to hold things in place while I wrapped a rubber band around the outside edge. So here's my daughter helping me. Getting everything lined up. And then we're wrapping a rubber band around the outside. And now wrapping wax paper around it so that the glue won't stick to anything. And then pressing it between the MDF squares. So now I'm gluing up the, the individual coasters. There are eight of these. And the difference here is that in the center I'm using smaller pieces so that I can stack them. And you'll be able to see that when we get to the end product. After a couple of hours, I can unclamp each of the coasters and get ready to finish them. Both sets of coasters are going to have a column that extends up from the base so that they can be stacked and held together. So the square coasters are going to have a rectangular column and the round coasters that I'm working on now are going to have a round column that goes up from the bottom.
After removing the piece from the lathe, I'm trimming off each end of the column. And a quick test fit to make sure that it's not too loose, not too tight. And then I'll secure it with a little bit of glue. Now I'm back to the square coasters and I'm just running them through the drum sander to clean them up after the glue up. And then I'll run the edges along the belt sander to straighten them up. Now I'm measuring the space for the column that goes up the center. It's roughly one and a quarter inches by five eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna cut the column to be just a little bit smaller than that to make it easy to fit the coasters over top. And now I'll trim the bottom so that there's a little piece that can be inserted into the base. And it has a nice tight fit. Now I'm just finishing everything up with some mineral oil. My friend Renee is going to come over later this afternoon to tour my workshop, so I'm going to surprise him with the two sets of coasters. He was expecting me to make him the round set because I told him that would be easier than making a square set, so he should be nicely surprised. So I'll wrap these up and clean up my workshop and get ready for him to visit. Ah! <laughs> He's a little surprised that I made a square set instead of a round yep, set. That's the square one. Today, yesterday. Yes, correct. Here's here's the round one. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. He's remarking at how I put the square ones in the round box and the round ones in the square box. You're welcome. So I gotta ask, would you make it? 